Hey New York, being a professional musician is a lot of work. While some may think that all the job entails is playing songs that people like, it turns out that it is mostly emails, long drives, trying not to cry in front of large groups of strangers, and a plethora of very important business meetings that you are often running late to. I don't really know who we're coordinating with anymore. Yeah, me neither. I Sweet. hope we get food though. Yeah. While meetings with powerful execs can be stressful, they are ultimately productive, especially if you are hungry or in need of coffee. And if you are lucky, you will get to show everyone the video of Chad Smith playing the national anthem. However, these meetings will most likely result in more work for you, such as finding a director for a music video for your upcoming album. Any ideas? Nope. I think you should ask John Wilson. Would New York be better off if we had something permanent instead of this temporary stuff being erected and dismantled all the time? No, but seriously, <laughs> like, who would you, who, who, John Wilson? Yeah, John he's Wilson. Like, he's a huge celebrity. So stick with me and I'll show you how to try to persuade an extremely famous and renowned director to direct a music video for your relatively unknown indie rock band. Can you find us John Wilson's address? Yeah, I can get you anybody's anything. The record label offered us help, but I'm not sure they actually believe in us and never sent us an address, so we had to resort to asking our friend Steve, who works in the entertainment industry instead. We're dealing with some power problems right now, so when we get Wi-Fi, we can check in on who knows, if anyone knows John Wilson, I guess. There's also, I don't know how much, we should, if it's just, it's not like there's going to be on TV. No. Uh, there's currently like a Supreme Court of the state of New York lawsuit going on between the owners of this building and Wells Fargo. Steve had his own problems, so he started posting online to see if someone else could connect us. Unfortunately, no one we know actually knows John Wilson, but the general consensus was that we just had to walk around Ridgewood for a day and we would probably find him. He's, uh, he's pretty tall, kind of... Uh... Um, you know, nondescript looking. He, he was wearing a lot of beige and khaki, and he had a press hat. We set out to find John Wilson by walking around aimlessly in Ridgewood, but it seems that he is probably busy filming his own TV show. Have you seen John Wilson? Like, in person? Yeah, like today. Not today. Okay, but in person? I, I think I've walked past him like once or twice. Okay. Ridgewood. Than I thought. We even went to the bookstore that someone told us he is supposedly at every single day, but he was not there, and the barista who told me that they are casually acquainted with him was not willing to contact him or even be on camera, so in conclusion, it was just another dead end. Nevertheless, being a musician is a fun and fulfilling career, but it also requires you to get really used to being rejected. Sometimes by the audience who thinks you're bad and will get up and leave during your set, and other times by an extremely successful filmmaker who won't even look at your message about making a music video because he's really busy or maybe he hates your music too. I don't know. I don't think this is gonna help us <laughs> to make us a music video. I bring back slot base.